Right, we're looking at a game on the Commodore 64 called Ad Infinitum. Um, the first thing that strikes me with this game is the Star Wars game. Uh, Star Wars theme, should I say. Um, I ain't going to clue why it's playing. Uh, not licensed at all um, by Star Wars, so I'm not sure how they got away with that with copyright reasons. Uh, this game came out in 1984, I believe. Um, so, space, shoot them up. Uh, we'll give it a try. Um, I'll give it a quick go. And, yeah, it's uh, certainly a simple shooter. Let's uh, start it and we'll see what we can do. Here we go. Get ready to play one. Uh, a simple shooter. Uh, what you've got to be weary of as well, you can't just keep the fire button down because your laser on the bottom right, yeah, gauge for your laser that can overheat. And if it overheats, you lose a life. So that's an added feature that you have to watch what's not usually done with these type of games. Um, graphics as you can see are quite simple. Um, nice sound effects. Oh these are different. I've not seen these before. Ah got shot. Nice animation when you get blown up there. Quite generous on lives. Um, yeah, sound effects are decent, very arcadey, um, but it gets a little bit repetitive, really. That's what I found out. Um, it's not a game that's got a lot of replay value, I would think. It's uh, certainly one that you probably load up to waste what odd twenty minutes or so. But after that, would you really come back to it? I'm not sure. I don't think I would. Um, some smiley faces. Yeah. Yeah, aliens are pretty basic. Uh, I don't like ship. I don't like the player's ship. Looks a bit weird. Uh, looks like a egg cup of some sort. I think they could have done a little bit better with that. But, you know, 1984 used to give me a bit of leeway, I suppose, but no, it's a bit, a bit basic. Um, can get a bit dull as long as you dodge bullets and keep away from your laser overheating. It's not really much of a challenge, really. I'm not going to even say what they look like. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's the last one gone. These weird things. Level zero B. That's. I, I, I think it's a game that tried to be different with its laser uh, eating gauge and weird number of levels like level O B. I don't know what all that's about. Why can't you just have numbered levels like a normal game? There you go. Level O C. Why? 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 Level O C. These looks like flying toasters. Last toaster to go. Got it. These are supposed to be rockets look like darts coming at me now. Prepare for docking. Alright, okay. This looks quite straightforward, just gotta line it up. Well, well that can't be it, can it? Is that it? Yeah, that won't that, that, that much of a challenge. Again, nice little feature, but did it really work? No. These little, I don't know, mosquito things, whatever they are. Oop. What's all that noise? Have got an extra life? Level 10 now. Oh, laser overheated. Level 10, why can't it just go from 1 to 10 instead of all these OC levels and whatnot? What the hell are they? Whatever they are, they're dead. Um, yeah. Uh, I want to be generous to say it's an average game. 
uh, it's not brilliant. Um, I know it's from 1984, but graphics quite basic even for then I would think. Um, I'll give it graphics out of ten. I don't know. I'll give it a. I'll give it a four. Music. Yeah, strange. Um, music untitled Star Wars for whatever reason. It's nicely done. Um, I'll get a f for sheer courage for putting that on because it's not even licensed by Star Wars. I'll give that a four as well. Uh, overall gameplay. Let's make it a full house of fours. I'll give that a four as well. It's not. It's not an excellent game. We'll give it another sh another try. See if we can do a bit better and see a few more different aliens. Here we go. Nice little star field they've done. These little shield things and a few more. Quite easy. These little snooker balls. That's masquerading as aliens. They've gone. Well, I don't think I've seen them before. Whatever they are. Shield or whatever. These round, spinny, whatever they're supposed to be. These fried eggs, get rid of these. Oop, my laser's overeating. I don't want to let it cool down a bit. Uh, it's a good feature that because it stops alt button mashing. You know, you have to watch what you're doing. And darts, still gone. Oh, Starfield, you can only avoid. Oh, I didn't have a chance here, got in corner. That's a bit harsh. Sometimes you've got to have reflex of a Jedi. That's probably where it, Yeah, that's probably where it Star, Star Wars music comes from. But yeah, it's. Uh, one to forget this, I think. I think now nah, I think I'm being a bit over generous with my scores, but I'll I'll keep with him. That's gone. My laser's overeating. These little smiley faces and the green hoodie. Well, I can't ship explodes, but what does it expect you using an egg cup for a ship anyway? Let's get rid of these. Uh, I've just realised it says level 9. Well, last time it said level C or something. What's all that about? These weird things. Oh, yeah, look, level O A. So I won't see things last time. It, it does go in weird levels. Level O B. I ain't even got a clue what I do I think of these little alien sprites up. What the hell were they on when they came up with this idea? It was these toasters. Die toaster. That's level O D Oh Well, level O E, the uh Famous level OE stage. I can't believe they've come up with them stupid level things. Uh, what's all this about? This is so easy. I know they've got this from a different game from arcades, but there's no challenge to it. What's wrong with that? Easy. Not to point to that. A castle in space. Right, here we go. These mosquito things, I think that's what they're supposed to be. Oh, no. oh lasers overeating. Yeah, come on. Come yeah. Right, here we go. And that's game over. Uh, so, yeah, want to forget that game. Uh, if you come across it, just play play it just for sheer curiosity. 
um, but not very good. So, yeah, that's uh, Ad Infinitum on the Commodore 64. Bye!